you feel like a race driver? Not really. So what we are doing now is we are mapping the racetrack here in France that afterwards the DevPod is able to localize on a racetrack. So currently we are mapping the area in front of the race box because we want to map the whole track, not just only the race track, so that we are already localized in the box and then we drive out of the box and the car is every time localized when we are here. Yeah, it's quite important for an autonomous car, especially for a race car, that it's able to localize on the racetrack because you need to know where you are. And also we are creating a map that we know where can the race car drive. The LiDAR is on the rooftop of the car. It has 64 layers and it rotates with 20 Hz. And we are collecting like 1000 measurements at one rotation. And here you can see on the screen how the data looks like. It's here visualized and the color shows like the intensity of the material. So if something reflects very good, the color is lighter. Here you can see the building. Where is the car? The car is like here. Here's a person walking. The material reflects much better. So you can see here also blue, and blue is like it's reflecting very good. Quite complicated to go to the, with the death pod to the racetrack, and so we can do this task also with any car. We could also use a scooter or something like this, but here in the car it's, it's much more comfortable and you can already see is the data correct or not. Um, now we have finished the mapping or the recording of the data and now we are going to produce a map for the localization.